10.30 now, that means it's time for some celebrity dish, and we have the media prince back with us. I'm waiting on you to change it to the media king. Why, you know why are we what? dealing you with prince? You might be stamping it into existence <laughs> right saying, now. I'm just you gotta name it and claim Mark it. Mark today's calendar, guys. <laughs> yes. Speaking of calendar, you have a big event coming up later on this week. Yes, Good Projects DC, they're doing their toy drive at Saks this week, so... Uh, Media Prince gets to come outside because I've been asleep. Oh, he's outside. This week. <laughs> I've been catching up on some Z's. Holiday yeah. time, I get to relax, but I'll be outside this weekend. That's good to see. And I know also just you, you're capping off in a tremendous year with all of your interviews, the big mm -hmm. award you received. So we were super, super proud of you. Yes, we are. And you guys made it happen. You guys predicted the win. So Fox 5 is. Right here. Okay, well, now that you're here, Media King, let's jump into the <laughs> celebrity topic. We want to start with Jamie Foxx. Uh, he is back on his feet. The comedian and actor recently made a very special surprise appearance. And producer Chris, you have some details on that? Yeah, and it's easy to forget. He has been seen out in public, but he has not made any public appearances right. until now. That changed last night when he was at the Critics' Choice Awards, where he was receiving the Vanguard Award. This is for his role in The Burial. So he took to the stage unassisted, showed off his trademark wit and humor as he discussed the health challenges he faced this year. Remember, he was hospitalized near death, that mysterious emergency that we haven't really heard much more about besides him popping up around the country. Fox also explained the new appreciation he's feeling for his life and his career as well as the people in his life. So take a little listen to this clip of his speech that was posted by Deadline. I want to thank you uh, for all the prayers because the one thing that I have to get used to now is the Lord and mercy Jesus when I see people out. Yeah. I'll be driving and somebody pull up and, and, and hit me with that. And I was in uh, I was in Chicago. I had to do a little a little stint for some things to get things right. And my sister and my daughter were so great at not letting anybody know anything that happened. And I can only say that you need somebody like that in your corner. Oh, I see you later. Wow, man. God, baby. Wow. <laughs> So Fox also talked about in his remarks seeing a tunnel but not seeing the light or walking through it. So it kind of sounds like he went to hell and back, guys, and has made it through to the other side now. Yeah. All right, Media yeah. Prince. I'm just what looking say you? clear to make sure that's not a clone. <laughs> that's the oh. joke. That's been the running joke. Yeah. That, that is not really Jamie. Joke. That is not. But, but a clone <laughs> because of the movie clone that he was in. I just got that. But didn't he just say in that uh, he did make a joke of that on his uh, on his talk, right? Yeah. He did. And, and then he also said that, like, I'm not a clone, right? <laughs> my thing is, I'm glad to know he's doing well. That's, that was my first takeaway. And secondly, I want the same team that he and Beyonce <laughs> has because you don't know anything. The fact Months that this later, is still a we still don't know what well happened to him. Well-kept, best-kept secret. Yeah. I mean, it's great to see him doing well, like right. you said, but... I'm nosy. Yeah, it's not any of our business. Not any details. Any. Yeah. yeah. We just Good immediately stop promoting a movie. Here you go. <laughs> so what do you think about the honor? I mean, it was a great honor yeah. for him to get that award. I, I, I think Jamie Foxx has reached a pillar in his career. He's done some amazing things. Yeah. And a lot of people counted him out early on because he just was known for comedy. But right. to see his career in such vast totality i think this honor was really great for him and i think he deserved it everything yeah, is, and i think more yeah. are coming too he's one of the few artists who are equally as good at more than one thing everything I mean, singing, dancing right. producing acting yeah, comedy he can do it all you might have yes. manifested a new album coming but, soon uh oh because <laughs> we, we're looking for it i want to see it but i did love how everybody all the celebrities and all of the the famous folks really embraced him in this yeah. moment and didn't leave him out to dry uh despite us all being left <laughs> Not knowing He's what's well happening. Loved, for he sure. is loved by a lot of folks. All right, Chris. Yeah. Maybe no love between two other celebrities. I don't know. Yeah, mm. some signs of trouble in paradise for Offset and Cardi B. You know why? Because they have unfollowed each other on social media. And as we all know, that is the sure sign that things aren't going well. So the Bodak Yellow hitmaker also shared some cryptic messages on her Instagram story yesterday talking about outgrowing relationships and not protecting others' feelings. So the rappers tied the knot in September of 2017. However, there have been a few rough patches since then, including one back in June when Offset accused Cardi of cheating on him. He later recanted that statement during a podcast appearance. He blamed it on the al 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 alcohol 
alcohol, as Jamie Foxx <laughs> might say. The couple do share two children together, though, guys. Well done, Chris. Well, you know it's real when it's a non-follow. Yes. You think is that's it, what it makes real? it real? That's what makes it real. I think at this age, and this this era of social media, when you scrub if, them, if I go unfollow you, I don't like you, or we're done. We're, we're done. Mm. So I will to just say, unfollow your husband or wife. That's uh, that means something. The one it? thing I will say is that sometimes in a you know maybe. Uh, emotional state it can mm -hmm. be very easy to click that unfollow and this then forget this that the true. entire world can see you did that and then you got to kind of backtrack a little or bit blame it on maybe when you sober yeah. up yeah yeah and Cardi right. runs hot. I mean, right. she we know that, right? Mm -hmm. She just is always running hot. So she got mad, he got mad and they did that. Well, I hope for one they're together because I'm so tired of the red squiggly lines on <laughs> all the celebrity pictures, all these breakups. But uh, well, hopefully this is something major that they maybe do a joint uh, album or something. They're just trying to get our start, attention. Exactly. There you so go. Fingers crossed it may be that. Okay, Chris, what's our next story here? All right, guys, this one is actually good news, a positive story we can talk about now because this one involves a reunion, one that was 20 years in the making, Nelly and Ashanti, and we've got huge news because apparently they are now expecting a mm. baby together. So Us Weekly exclusively reported the 43-year-old singer is pregnant with her first child. Now, Nelly has adult children with his ex already, so the couple sparked pregnancy speculation over the weekend at Nelly's Black and White Ball in St. Louis. So congratulations to the happy couple. They really seem to have found someone to make themselves happy ah, after such a long time. That is beautiful. Yeah, so happy I'm looking at that photo. They're like 20 year gap where? They look the exact they look same. The exact same. Two decades ago. I'm super happy for both yes. of them. Ashanti and um, she had that song Always on Time. Yes. I'm not uh -huh. always there when, when you, you call, call but yeah. I'm always on time. She's about to have a baby on time <laughs> in her own time. So women uh -huh. over 40, it can happen. It can happen. It can I think she should bring us out on tour next time because we would be great. Good. You got to get your blue, though. Uh, we okay. all <laughs> Mr. Memo. We're all I missed there. the total memo. <laughs> I'm just sticking out like a sore thumb. I didn't but get it either. The, don't worry about it. I don't know. I, I mean, Media <laughs> Prince, what, what do you think about uh, the relationship over the years kind of growing in, in, many, in many different facets? I love it. I think they were an example of a healthy breakup and a healthy comeback together. And I think it also showed couples... That you could try again, especially yeah. if it didn't end. It wasn't the bad. right time then. It exactly. wasn't the right time then, yeah. and it's the right time now. And I think they're at an age where they can just appreciate the relationship more. So I think we're actually seeing them be present in their relationship yes. this time around. And so now we're seeing. Okay. She's just need a smile. Wet, an album, all that good stuff. I'm ready. I'm right, ready. All of Congratulations it. to them both. Thanks so much, Chris. Thank you, guys. Oh, that was a good celebrity dish. It really yeah, was. I'm full. I'm good after <laughs> dishing on no celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> nice, little, nice little meal. If you, you got know, it. Of course, I'm a little sad I didn't get the blue memo. But yeah, I'm going to let you on. Text <laughs> okay? I, 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 we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll add we'll, you in. We'll tell you. Uh, all right.